Hello there and welcome to the Learn Company and today I'll be showing you some of the new iOS 5 features in iPhone 3GS. So Apple says that there are over 200 new features, a lot of them are little tweaks but there are also bigger things as you might expect. So there is a lot to cover, I'll do my best to go through the most. So let's get started with the camera. The first feature associated with the camera is that you now can launch the camera from the look screen by double clicking the home button. There. And the second feature is associated with the camera is that you now can take a picture by pressing on the volume up button instead of having to touch to touch the buttons the the button on the screen this one you can use this button there and another cool feature is this option button at the top so you now can choose to view grids uh, which helps getting more precise focus and accurate photography. Now, to see your photos, you swipe left. So you open your camera roll. And this is all of your photos you have taken in the moment. But to see the other photos that you have taken uh, before you have to unlock your phone and this is how you do you click on your home button uh, type the, the pa password and then you can go back to your photos or the camera so this is a photo I've taken uh, one day <laughs> one beautiful summer day uh, if you can see there at the top right corner there is an edit button and what and when you press on it you get these four options the first one is for rotating the second one it is for enhancing color tunes tones of photos uh, just wait for it so I don't know if you see but it made a little bit uh, and the third one removes red eye if there is a red eye and if in this case no and the fourth one is for cropping photos as you can see you can crop to choose something in the photo I may be eh, whatever an important thing to remember is that when you click on save it actually saves your changes on the original photo so be aware of what you're doing otherwise you lose your pictures and now let's move on to the next cool thing in the photos which is this uh, sharing options and the new thing there is the tweet button so you can now tweet these pictures and Twitter uh, is now built in into iPhone which is very cool and uh, and uh, now let me show you how you log in into Twitter to log in into Twitter you go to settings and then you scroll down until you find Twitter you can as you can see install it directly from the phone and here is where you log in so you type your username password and then you sign in as usual so that was Twitter and, uh, and a very cool feature in photos that I forgot to to say is that you now have an ability of of uh, 
adding photos in albums so you can now organize your photos like this you can edit you can create create a new album let's call it uh, uh, hi I don't know and then you can add uh, pictures in it so as you can see I have a family picture uh, family album album and I have a YouTube and here is my camera roll so yeah that's uh, really cool and now let's move on into uh, Safari so the big thing the big thing in Safari is uh, is this uh, uh, reader button uh, there so you can read websites this way isn't that awesome I really like this feature and you can also choose your phone size and you can do something uh, like add adding uh, this website to something called reading list so and uh, you can add any website to a reading list uh, well, uh, this is how you do uh, you go to uh, this button and then you click on add to reading list and to f and where you find your reading list is here so you click on this like book button and reading list is the first option and here is my unread it uh, website and you click on them to read them and that is really really cool uh, I, liked it, I like that a lot and now let's move on to message So in in the message section there is a new thing called iMessage which is a new service for text messaging between iOS devices over Wi-Fi or 3G so that means free SMS between iOS devices like iPhone, iPod, iPad etc and uh, a blue message bubble indicates it's an iMessage so and this is how it looks like uh, wait a minute so this is Oscar he's my friend and he has he has uh, iMessage on his iPhone as well and this is how it looks like blue bubble uh, as you just saw I could drag the keyboard down so that's another little tweak but very handy and cool as, uh, at the same time and um, you can also see when someone is typing but uh, uh, when, some, when someone is typing to you like in hotmail on uh, yeah and uh, like in hotmail you can see when someone is typing but I can't really show you it now because uh, there's no one typing to me right now and now let's go to the settings for message uh, so settings and um, there it is messages and as you can see you can turn on or turn off iMessage you can turn on and off or turn off send read recite so that allows other uh, other people to be notified when you have read their messages uh, so that's up to you I like to have it on and you can uh, send as SMS when it when iMessage is not available receive at this is my number and you shouldn't see it actually there uh, uh, show subject field uh, this is other settings you can add and now 
that was it about message and now let's go to another feature